Click on the subscribe button, especially the bell on the right side, otherwise you will miss the latest videos. About all that, his hand holding is excellent. He will teach you from ABC. And this time, all and this time, what I'm... Go through the... And this time what I'm doing is, I don't want anybody in the class to make notes. Okay. So don't make notes in the class. Okay, because I want this time everybody to pay attention only what I'm saying in the class. Okay, that is enough. Okay, for notes, that's why I'm providing with the additional recordings. Okay. You have to understand why I'm providing the additional 18 hours of recordings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so by this recording, you have a two different versions of same concepts. Are you understanding? Mm -hmm. so I will not use the same examples which I have covered in the bachelor. Okay, okay we are uh, we are using the different example charts. Okay, maybe I will teach you in some different manner this time. Okay. Correct. So like this. You have recordings and live session of current current batch, also previous batch. Okay. So you have to devote your time, watch both things. Okay. And so means is, uh, when hmm. we watch the recordings and all that time from those recordings, we make our notes. Yes. So, so okay. you can make your notes from recordings. It okay. will save your time. Yeah. Okay. Because when I teaching the, in the live session, if you pay your attention to writing and all these things then mm -hmm. that is the usable okay Correct. so because all that will be there in the recording simple okay. even even pdf files which uh, we will cover in our course that is also uploaded in the recordings you can download the pdf files you can take the printouts you can mm -hmm. learn okay Correct. And your live sessions and all that we'll be having like so we'll have the recordings of those also. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then that you makes eighteen. Those are eighteen plus hours of recordings. Okay, more than twenty-two hours, but I'm calling it eighteen plus. Okay, okay. eighteen hours of recordings previous classes and also eighteen eighteen hour recordings of current session. Okay. So you have both. So you have, you need lot of time to watch these recordings. Okay, and practice it. Mm. And I will today. I will give you some uh, uh, what we call some rules. Okay, some suggestions. Mm. So in next two weeks, follow those suggestions. That will be beneficial for you all. Okay. Okay. So, so we can start today. Okay. So this session is just an introduction session for today. Okay. Our actual classes will start from 18th of June. You have to weeks of uh, break i can call it not break but preparation time so in these two weeks what you will do that i will tell you now okay people are still joining yeah so manju ji raised your hands yes manju you want to ask anything yes good evening sir i had this one uh, very basic question Hmm. So I wanted to know, uh, is this ultra beginners course is for like uh, somebody who doesn't know anything about Jyotish like from the ABCD or uh, have I missed out on anything? So obviously, uh, I'm because I haven't enrolled for any other course before this. So this will be like my first introduction to Jyotish. Yeah, so this, this course is for you only. Okay. Okay. Because Thank you. We have a beginners course. Okay. But this course is ultra beginner. Okay, okay, so sir. what is this ultra beginner means? If you don't know anything about Jyotish, if you don't know even which software you should use, okay, where to put your date of birth, place, time, if you don't know all these things, you can join this course. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, as the name itself is suggesting Vedic astrology for ultra beginner. Yes, actually, I saw somebody who has already done a course with you, so I was wondering if I'm in the wrong class. No, no, no. You don't uh, uh, worry about this. Okay, this from the scratch. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. 
and this uh, uh, our journey of this very astrology for ultra vigna course will be two months okay two and a half month two months at least so in this two months course we have at least eight classes okay depending on the requirement of students i can extend it two or three more classes also okay but yes, eight sir. classes are there for sure yes thank you so much sir so in this eight classes what we will cover okay so the introduction of course content is already in the website but still i will give you the brief idea okay so we will start with houses okay signs and planets okay how many houses signs and planets okay what are their properties okay and how we can use it for prediction okay we start with these things and we will see the different types of horoscopes we will deal with like uh, you must have heard about the south indian chart north indian chart different different formats of charts what is the difference between these charts okay and how to read it all these things we will do and we will learn about the softwares okay which software we should use okay some free software some paid software we will learn the difference between them and which software we we will use that will be better for us all these things we will cover okay including some concepts like exaltation debilitation combustion planetary war grah yuddha we call it okay all these things we are going to cover all prashari rules okay like this vedic astrology in this course i am teaching the prashari method there are different different uh, systems in jyotish you must have heard about the kp system okay krishna murti paddhati we call it nadi astrology okay jamini astrology like there are different uh, systems okay so we are mainly dealing with the vedic astrology prashari based system prashari prashari okay so what books we require okay which books you should read i will recommend all these things in today's session only okay so at least you can purchase those books you start reading them okay i will recommend five six books if you can buy all books it's good or at least you can start with one or two books okay so i will guide you how to read all these books also okay including this in our course content we will learn some basic principles about prediction like how to do prediction once we cover the whole basics exaltation debilitation grah yuddha and combustion concepts all these things after learning all basic thing how to use them for the predictions okay so here i am adding some more content which i not covered in the batch one okay so by collecting all rules and principles how to implement them in the chart this is what uh, we need correct basics and all these things you can read, read from any books okay but to, but how to integrate them in the chart and how to decode it that is more important that we will learn in our course including some advanced concepts like ashtak varga this ashtak varga concept is not covered in the batch 1 this time we are adding this in our batch 2 okay including the divisional charts what are divisional charts that thing also we will learn what kind of prediction we can make from divisional chart that we will also learn especially i am covering d9 chart namamsha chart okay so this is our whole content there are some other small small concepts that we will learn you all can watch the product page you will get the whole idea correct so this will take around eight classes this will be live class you you uh, you all will receive the zoom link you can join the zoom link every saturday at 30 pm okay two hours of each session we will cover in eight classes okay i can extend the number of classes if needed okay or else we will keep it eight classes and one or two sessions for q and a okay including this i am providing the 18 hours of pre recorded sessions also from batch 1 you can watch those recordings in next two weeks okay now this is the toughest thing for you all okay so you have to cover two months of uh, classes in next two weeks 
ओके सो इफ यू कैन डू इट इट्स गुड और एल्स कवर मैक्सिमम एज मच एज यू कैन ओके नाउ आफ्टर वॉचिंग रिकॉर्डिंग ओके सम कॉन्सेप्ट विल बी क्लियर टू यू यू विल हैव सम डाउट ऑल दिस थिंग डाउट यू कैन राइट इट डाउन ओके एंड यू कैन आस्क दो क्वेश्चन इन अवर क्लासेस ओके and also i will cover each topic in live classes also so it means you will have a double preparation one from the recording and one from the live session okay so you will not miss anything correct pdf files is already uploaded in our thinkific portal how to access thinkific recordings and pdf files all these things i will show you now okay you can download the pdf file but you can't download the video you can watch video live any time okay as much as many times you want to see you can watch it but you can't download these recordings you can access for next one year okay pdf files you can download you can take print outs it means the recorded session also the live classes recordings you will find you will receive in your thinkific account both recordings you can access for next one year okay we have one whatsapp group also you can join that group so all uh, student will receive an email which contains the uh, whatsapp link they, you can join it so if you have any small doubts or anything you can post there okay i am also in the group and our old students are also there they will also participate in the discussion okay uh, but uh, restrict yourself in discussing only the course content okay don't discuss the personal horoscopes and all okay so i will try to post uh, new new techniques in that group whenever i have time so you can also contribute to that content correct so these all things we will see in our course now before before i uh, go further you have to understand very important thing the qualification of jyotishi the qualification of astrologer because we all are studying jyotish ultimately we want to become astrologer okay maybe some of you are studying jyotishi jyotish out of some interest okay like i i have a hobby to learn jyotish i am learning jyotish but i don't want to become astrologer it means i, I don't want to become the professional astrologer okay that is also okay but if you want to become a professional astrologer if you want to predict anything if you want to see the future okay so we have some qualification for that so in this whole course i will not use the word astrologer from now okay so i will call jyotishi okay i will not call it astrology from now onwards i will call it jyotish correct because we are dealing with the vedic jyotish okay so i will restrict myself in using the basic uh, terms in sanskrit itself okay i will call surya not sun i will call the chandrama not moon okay so all these things we need to practice in the beginning okay if 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 anybody in this session who don't know sanskrit or hindi they will find it will be difficult in the beginning but it will after when we go through it it will be easy for them okay so you also start using the basic terms in sanskrit itself correct that will be good for you you will soon understand why i am doing this okay so now there are some qualification of jyotishi astrologer what are those qualifications and where we can find them okay so whatever i teach you i am not teaching it from uh, my own created knowledge or something research no okay so these basic things whatever we learn in this course that is already in our classical book classical books of jyotish or astrology okay i am not talking about the books that nowadays uh, modern authors are writing okay i am talking about the classical book from rishi or from maharishis or from acharyas okay so in this class also we will learn what is the difference between the uh, books written by rishis written by acharyas written by modern authors you have to understand between these 
what the difference between these three okay because you will start reading the books so you you have to uh, uh, have an understanding now what is the difference between all these three books so okay, then only you can have authentic knowledge okay so there is a, a famous book of prashna prashna means horary astrology this is another branch of jyotish we call it prashna in english we call it horary okay so there is a book we call it prashna marga this is one of the uh, greatest book on the prashna from kerala so in that book in chapter 1 shloka number 15 to 18 we will find the qualification of jyotishi okay not only in prashna marga in many other classical books also we will find the qualification in bphs in faladipika mantreshwar faladipika in uh, brahad jatak also you will find this now in this qualification one of the first thing is good knowledge of mathematics okay this is the first qualification for jyotishi Okay, so if you don't know mathematics, don't worry. If you are not well versed in mathematics, don't worry. Okay, but it is a qualification. If you if you have a sound knowledge of mathematics, it's added benefit for you. Okay, because we are not dealing with the mathematical part of Jyotish in this whole course. Okay, so you are uh, you don't have to worry about the first qualification. Correct. but if you want to learn how to construct a chart manually okay by using the panchang and all these things then you need this first qualification correct second qualification is jyotishi or the astrologer should lead religious life okay now again this is the uh, toughest thing because nowadays we have a different lifestyle okay so i don't know how many of you are uh, leading the religious life and now what is the meaning of religious life and all these things this is a very big topic we will not go into that in india but i am just giving you the hint this is the second qualification third qualification is truthful okay astrologer jyotishi should be truthful whatever he speak whatever he see or whatever he say correct now the another qualification for jyotishi is he should well versed in the vedas mantra and tantra okay now note down the word veda vedas mantra and tantras now this tantra word many people consider it not good okay so when i say tantra so they think about black magic and all these things okay so here you need to be very careful mantra and tantra is not something connected with the black magic and all okay so people are misunderstanding that part but this is a qualification for jyotishi okay there must be a some mantra sadhana in your life in your lifestyle okay if you want to become a jyotishi so when i say jyotishi i am calling it devagya or trikaladarshi correct intuition power if you want to uh develop your intuition power this mantra sadhana is required correct now what to do in that mantra sadhana all these things we will discuss this is the important thing now there are some other uh, small small qualifications uh, which is required for jyotishi is prediction made by a person who studied 10 kinds of planetary motion who studied the 10 kinds of planetary motion their prediction never go wrong now what is this 10 kind of plan planetary motion that we will cover in our course that is not added in the batch 1 so i am adding in batch 2 okay so 10 kinds of planetary motion we will study okay so the person who know this 10 kind of planetary motion who have the knowledge of different uh, horas who know the five siddhantas now what is the siddhanta panch siddhant we call it this is something connected with the mathematics and all we will not deal with this part okay but this is a qualification okay 
so the 10 kind of planetary motion we will study thorough knowledge of different auras and adapt in the five siddhantas these all are the qualification and the one of the most important thing out of this is who is initiated into a mantra sadhana by his guru this is the one of the important qualification for a Hindu Jyotishi. If you are into some sadhana, okay, parallelly you are studying this Jyotish subject, you will grow easily without any difficulty. Okay, some divine power or divine beings will guide you where to go in your Jyotish journey. Correct? So we will follow as much as possible these principles. Okay, now this is your first uh, introduction session, so you should have an idea in your mind. Okay, so from now onward, at least pick some small mantras, what you can do easily, like any Saraswati mantra or any uh, Ganapati Biju mantra, or any kind of mantra, Stotra, Shloka, Ashtotra, Sahasranam, anything which you can do easily. Okay, start doing this regularly morning evening take out 10 20 minutes that is enough okay before you open your jyotish book okay do some meditation 10 20 minutes or chant some mantra and then start your reading correct is the easiest thing we can at least do it any doubt in this sir gayatri jap is okay kar sakte Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, अब गायत्री जाप females को करना चाहिए नहीं करना चाहिए ऐसे बहुत queries हैं उस पे हम अभी नहीं जाएंगे at least मैं चाहता हूँ आप at least start करो जहाँ पर आप हैं वहाँ से एक step तो ले हैं ठीक है sir हाँ जी मैं कल ये देखा था कि शाम को भी गायत्री जाप किया जा सकता है शाम को yes sir हम बिल्कुल कर सकते हैं देखिए हमारे इसमें त्रिकाल संध्या वंदन का विधान है त्रिकाल संध्या वंदन का मतलब तीनों संध्या काल में किया जाता है एक शाम को भी आता है ओके सर बने आते हैं शाम को कर सकते हैं ठीक है शाम को कर सकते हैं हाँ जी सर एट पर नाउ सो वी कैन स्टार्ट सीमेंट्स कैन स्टार्ट गायत्री मंत्र और आप तो शायद बैच वन में भी थी ना? Yes sir. Yes. तो आपको तो शुरू कर देना चाहिए था। Yes sir मैंने कर रखा है but मैं एक बार reconfirm कर रही हूँ। हाँ। मैंने आपको बताया भी था कि मैंने कर रखा है इस टाइम। नहीं अच्छा है तो ये reconfirmation के लिए ही आपको दोबारा बुलाया गया है बैच टू में। ठीक है। तो आप लोग बैच टू � चलेगा कुछ भी चलेगा कुछ भी ओके ओके कोई भी मंत्र चलेगा अभी देखिए अभी होल परपस क्या है मेरा इसमें परपस ये कि आप एक ना डेली एक रूटीन एक साधना से जुड़े जी है ना वो किसके लिए कि आप अपने हेल्थ के लिए कर रहे हो एजुकेशन के लिए कर रहे हो फाइनेंशियल्स के लिए कर रहे हो उसे मैटर नहीं है � the person who initiated into a secret mantra by Guru. Now this is the uh, important thing and nowadays it's difficult to find a Guru. Okay, so what to do? So for this, to resolve this, what I have decided uh, in this batch also, I'm inviting the uh, batch one students. Okay, so I'm conducting the meditation program also okay, that is uh, free for all students or batch one and batch two both okay i have already uh, conducted a meditation session before in last year 26th august 2021 okay i call it jyotishmati pragya meditation okay so initially, uh, we have conducted for 11,000 rupees, like something, but this time this is free for all, free for these ultra beginner students. Okay. So we will also do this. Okay, but parallelly. 
it means uh, i will not compromise with my saturday class saturday class is there okay but we will select some other day okay depending upon your convenience convenience uh, we can start parallelly this so i require four to five days for this whole jyotish mati pragya meditation program this is exclusively for the astrologers only if you are learning jyotish it means this is required for you correct now if you follow this meditation with your jyotish learning okay you don't have to worry about any mantra sadhana or not this is equivalent to your mantra sadhana okay now how to do this all these things i will teach you okay this is again a added benefit which is not in the batch 1 but in batch 2 you all are getting this okay so the introduction about the jyotish mati uh, pragya meditation all these things is available in our website you can go and read about this uh, in my uh, youtube channel also in saptarishi astrology there are some videos about this jyotish mati pragya meditation and the feedback from the students and all you will find it okay now now this qualification of jyotishi okay this meditation program is a part of this. it means when you do meditation on regular basis this is the sadhana correct and in this meditation we will use some small small mantras also so that will help you to develop your jyotish mati pragya now what is the jyotish mati pragya you need to understand okay so we have a different level of consciousness that we will discuss later on we call it chetna okay chetna ke alag alag levels hai bhai andar theek hai to when we develop our level of consciousness okay pragya means you know pragya means what pragya means intellect intellect okay jyotish mati pragya it means the intellect of jyotish what our veda says whole knowledge of jyotish is within us okay jyotish you are not learning anything new in jyotish all things are already within you okay but we don't know how to realize it correct so we so we are reading the books and all these things the references consider them as a reference okay so all those knowledge are second hand knowledge correct if i am writing any book and and you are reading my book so that that is not your first hand knowledge you are reading book you are gaining my knowledge and i am gaining that knowledge from some other teacher and that teacher gained them some knowledge from some other person it means you are gaining the knowledge second hand third hand knowledge not a first hand okay but when you develop your jyotish mati pragya the intellect of jyotish mati the knowledge which you gain is always the first hand knowledge so when on daily basis morning and evening when you when you practice meditation for 20 minutes and after doing 20 minutes of meditation you you start your jyotish practice you read books you read some articles correct you watch recordings in jyotish so you will see after some days your understanding will improve it will automatically increase correct for example there is a concept we call it grah yuddha okay planetary war so what is the planetary war means if in any horoscope if two planets or three planets are in same house in same rashi and within one degree or same degree or within one degree okay that situation we call grah yuddha a planetary war if two planets in this within one degree okay they will face the situation we call planetary war okay now how to decode it okay how to identify the planetary war all these things we will learn in the class but suppose after class also you are not understanding the concept okay but you are practicing the meditation so today you will understand some part okay tomorrow you do meditation again and see the recordings you will understand some more 15% after 2 3 days you will realize your understanding is increasing day by day 
okay and when you go deeper into your meditation on daily basis so you will see you are learning such topics or in in such depth which is not even taught by you sir you are you are reading one page of any jyotish book today you will learn 5% of what is written in that page okay but when you do meditation on regular basis after some days you will you will realize you your understanding about that topic is more than the author who written that book you will understand you will start decoding the inner inner or hidden meanings behind that uh, shloka or that uh, whole content okay so these things we have to develop that's why in the qualification of jyotishi in qualification of astrologer in every classical book they have mentioned the word sadhana mantra sadhana initiated by guru but nowadays these things is very difficult to find okay but i have learned this meditation technique from my guru so i can at least teach you so you start doing this meditation okay uh maybe after 10th of june we will we'll start this session okay you all will start doing this session uh, after morning and evening morning and evening and after every session of meditation start reading some books of jyotish that's it in next two months you will realize you have gained lot of knowledge that even you have not realized it okay so if anybody who find difficulty in understanding vedic jyotish they will find after two months vedic jyotish is the most easiest thing that's why we call it vedic remember vedic vedic word means for veda vedic astrology we call it vedic astrology na it means the astrology knowledge that comes from veda and if you know veda is not written by anyone Veda is never written. We call it Shruti Smriti. Shruti means, "Is ko suna hai logo." Smriti means, "We have to remember." This is an oral tradition. Veda is never written. Okay, so the whole Vedic knowledge is developed within the Rishi. When Rishi sits in the meditation. they they gain the knowledge of vedas they gain the different sutras correct and then they taught that knowledge to their disciples and their disciples their disciple again they forwarded that knowledge to their own disciples like this we have the whole tradition correct same manner jyotish also is a part of veda if you understand the whole structure of veda So you will and you will see there are forty different branches in Veda. Out of those forty branches, we have a section we call it Vedanga. Okay, Vedang, Upang, like this. There are different sections. So in the Vedang part, Vedanga means in Vedang we have a six uh, different angas. Ved ang, anga means divi, uh, limbs. Correct, limbs. so there are six limbs in veda out of which one is jyotish what are rest of five with angas in the vedan one is shiksha okay shiksha chand vyakaran nirukta kalp and jyotish they six together we call it uh, veda okay so out of it shiksha shiksha means what shiksha deals with the phonetics phonology or pronunciation how to pronounce uh, the vedic part these all things comes comes under the shiksha this is the first part of our veda and then we have chanda chanda means rhythmic matter okay vyakaran vyakaran everybody know vyakaran means grammar i for in order to understand any language we have a grammar for that language correct in same manner if you want to understand the veda there is a grammar for that okay this is the third part fourth part is nirukta nirukta means etymology and the fifth one is the kalpa kalpa deals with the ritual instructions whatever we do 
puja and all these things not puja that every everything that comes under the kalpa ritual instructions and the sixth part is jyotish which deals with the you can call it predictive part or astronomical part all these things in olden days whenever person do yagya okay they need a good time muhurt for doing yagya so it means without jyotish knowledge we can't perform yagya correct so every shodash sanskar shodash sanskar means 16 samskaras we have in our uh, hindu so all these things deals with the uh, jyotish jyotish is a important part now all these six vedang is represented by one limb a ved anga anga means limbs so jyotish we call it jyotish as a eye aankh and a ved purush ki aankh hai okay in same manner kalpa is a hand okay nirokta is a ears vyakaran is face of ved purush chhanda is legs and shiksha is nose the most important part is jyotish eye without eyes you can't see anything you can't judge anything correct that's why jyotish is the most important part in our life okay now whole knowledge of veda whether it's a shiksha chand vyakaran nirukta kalpa any branch of knowledge it comes under the veda that is already within you all sutras of jyotish all rules all techniques are already you know you know already already within you only thing is we need to develop it so if they are within you how 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 you can develop it how you can decode it by the practice of this meditation correct so this this is uh, also included in your course so we will do it parallel okay eight classes of our uh, live classes is there for with in which i will cover the course content additionally we have five sessions five or six sessions for this jyotishmati pratyak okay that we will do in uh, any any week days but okay, we will decide it later okay so any any doubt till now anybody uh anina ji is asking will this course and pragya will be in english yes this course is in english including this jyotishmati pragya also so sometimes i will use the hindi words okay so don't worry i will repeat that same thing in english okay and all this you just explain just now will that be there in the recordings also right now whatever now, what, whatever yeah right now whatever i am saying that is recording okay okay okay, okay. So i will upload that thing in the thinky fix now come to that thinky fix part okay what is the thinky fix okay i will share one screen just a second my screen is visible yeah uh okay this is i already logged in okay so i hope everybody can see the url saptarishis.thinkific.com this is the url okay you all will receive in your email okay you open that link you can create your password okay user id is your email same email which uh, from which you have registered for this course you can use the same email id and once you logged in in dashboard you will see the all enrolled courses okay don't worry about my dashboard because here uh, this is a admin dashboard okay this is something different but you will see only two or three courses for which you have enrolled okay now when you click on uh, your course like vedic astrology for ultra beginner you will receive like this this is a batch one okay you will see notes section here on left side okay lecture 1 lecture 2 lecture 3 like this okay lecture 6 lecture 
eight, nine. And there are some added content by Sunil sir, in which he uh, covered the concept of Bhrigu Chakra Paddhati. That is also there in the uh, batch one recordings. Okay. So all content you will find like this. Notes, first section notes, when you click here, you will find the notes. You can download it, downloadable, correct? These all are PDF files. In notes section, you will find the PDF files. And in when you click on lecture, you click here, you will find the recordings. Okay, when you click on the play button, it will play automatically. Correct, like this. This is a batch one, and the today's recording also we will upload it. Okay. So you will find two different sections, batch one and batch two, both. Okay, you will start uh, by seeing these recordings. And if you have any doubts or any queries, you can just note down. Okay, any small queries, you can just drop a message on WhatsApp. I will reply, or else our old students will reply. Okay, if any complicated doubt which requires explanation, more explanation or example charts and all, I will cover that thing in uh, class. Okay. So this is about think if it. Chaya ji, aapko, aapko mila koi mail think if it ka bhi so you can create a password and you can start record, uh, seeing the thank uh, you. Thing. Okay. Jitendraji, thanks for feedback. Yeah, so this is uh, all for today. So this is just an introduction. If you have any doubt regarding course or anything, you can ask me now. Okay, I'm not starting any new topic today. Just I will just give you the introduction so that you can prepare yourself, you can prepare your mind. Or if anybody wants to join this course, they can join. Okay, don't worry about if you are a beginner, if you don't know anything, if you are a Lal Kitab student, or if you are a KP student, you can still join it. Okay. So any any doubt, anybody? For batch one, we have a QA session that I already announced in the WhatsApp group on 10th, 10th of June, not 10th or 11th of June. I will share the Zoom link soon. Any doubts? No doubts? Okay, good. Then I will stop the recording now.